donation. No donation, no salvation. And remember, respect is everything. Hello everyone, we're back. Um, I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, and there's and there's reason for it. Sorry, I'm just fixing my lighting. Um, been depressed for a while. I uh, I don't want to say why. Um, but uh, yeah, today we're gonna look at green light. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, based off the G1 character. Well, sort of. Um, it's based off the character green light in the sense that she's green and is a car <laughs> um, because I'm working on my own story of Transformers and this character is kind of a major one in that story um, character wise she's not really inspired by the G1 character but um, you know I, I mean it's my own little universe of Transformers it's, it's whatever now you'll notice I made her a muscle car because a female transformer muscle car just seemed like a very interesting concept. It's like the tomboy of transformers, if you know what a tomboy is. She's a little green muscle car. And, uh, yes, I know. She looks like Downshift. You can't unsee it now, so here's Downshift. Even though she's based off of the car that Cliff Jumper was. But, yeah. Um, I couldn't find the shade of green, so the bright lime green had to do. But yes, she is based off of Cliff Jumper's car model, which is heavily based off of a Dodge Challenger from the early 1970s. Uh, particularly the 1970 model. But the 71 model, like the one in that photo there, is very similar. The only things that really changed were the taillights and the grill, as well as some performance options, I'm sure, but I'm not here to spit car facts at you. I'm just here to show you my little Lego robot. Um, but anyway, here she is in her little green car mode, which has S13 style taillights, if you know what an S13 is. And uh, don't ask why, I just added a sunroof. I don't know why, I just thought it looked kind of cool muscle car with a sunroof something you don't see a lot and they did make challengers with sunroofs I just don't know how many or at least I'm sure they did but if they didn't feel free to correct me anyway let's proceed to transformation okay so for like my other car form, well actually it's not like my other car formers, it's probably my personal favorite because of the hood. This one actually folds up uh, with a, a neat little hinge system. Um, sadly I can't do this for all my car formers because getting those droid arms is not the easiest thing to do. Um, anyway, stand her up straight. Rotate her arms outward. Um, turn them around. Alright. Flip her legs forward. Sit her down. Um, unfortunately, because of the way her backpack... Oh, wait. Before we... Let's tilt her little elf ears back. Because she did have elf ears. And... Knowing me in anime, it's... It's the greatest thing ever. Yeah, there she is. Um, I don't like having to lean them forward like this, but given the nature of how they operate, I kind of have to do this. Yep, here she is in her little robot form. Her little robot elf. Um, I did make her some weapons, and we have her gun, which is a double barrel shotgun with a drum magazine, because why not? Let's give her that. There, that looks good. And let's give her her other gun. This very jazz style weapon, like he had in the first Transformers film. Um, 
the Bicycle Bay ones. So yeah, that's always a neat little thing. Um, so yeah, there's those accessories. Oh, oh, she's falling over. She doesn't stand very well, which is really irritating. Though honestly, a lot of these transformers with the flip back um, wheel design or leg design really don't stand very well to begin with. Um, I should probably tilt the camera up a little bit. Um, there really isn't much else to say at this point, um, other than she's um, got hip skirts, which is a first for uh, one of my Transformers. So that's always cute, I guess. Um, she really doesn't want to stand up. But yeah, there she is. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and go back to car mode since that's the mode that I put the most thought into in terms of her character. You see, the thing about Greenlight in my story is she's a, a wannabe tough guy. She talks a big game but doesn't really play a big game, if that makes any sense. Which is exactly why her and Prowl have the greatest chemistry. But that only applies to my story, which is non-canon and not really that important because I'll probably never publish it because it's not even done yet, so it's not like it really matters. Um, but yeah, there's good old green light in her little 70s challenger mode.